Lay's is a very famous snack brand that Americans enjoy. One snack in particular that Lay's produces is their potato chips. The company has been very successful over the years, but the chips have been successful for even longer. Lay's potato chips have existed way before they had earned their name. It all started in the year 1853. An African-American man named George Crumb had worked as a chef in a restaurant in Saratoga Springs, New York, United States. It was a simple day at the restaurant when suddenly a customer complained that the french fries were too thick. When George Crumb made a new batch of fries, he realized that he made them too thin. However, he didn't think this was bad at all. With a determined grin on his face, George served the extra thin fries to his customer. The customer was satisfied with her meal and loved George's new creation. Thus, potato chips had been invented and given their first official name of Saratoga chips. Many years later, in 1895, a man named William Tapadun manufactured and marketed the potato chips. He started small by making them in his kitchen, and then he officially sold them in a factory that was located behind his house. The potato chips were then shipped off to local grocery stores. Several more years later, in 1926, a woman named Laura Scudder had came up with an interesting concept of placing the potato chips into wax paper bags in order to sell them in an easier way. In the year of 1932, a salesman named Herman Lay created the first official national brand of potato chips in Nashville, Tennessee. The brand is what we know today as Lay's Potato Chips. Potato chips have come a long way throughout many years. In today's society, Lay's Potato Chips has several different interesting flavors. Classic flavors such as original barbecue, sour cream and onion, to the newest flavors such as cheesy garlic bread and wasabi ginger. These two chip flavors in particular are the winners of the Do Us A Flavor contest where people get to design their own flavors and see if they would be able to be marketed and sold off to grocery stores across the country. What started off as an extra thin french fry became one of the most sold snacks in America.